So, how to do the gram stain? Materials needed, glass slide, the culture, inoculating loop, and NSS, or normal saline. So, first, put one drop of normal saline on our slide. Then, get an inoculating loop. You can use plastic or also metal but for the metal you should sterilize it first by uh, bringing it to a flame then get one colony from the macon key over so these are the pink ones then mix it with the saline So, in a circular motion, you have to mix it with the normal saline or emulsify all of the colony. So, why should we spread it? So that the bacteria will not be overlapping. Spread all over the slide. Yes. Then, after this procedure we need to let this slide to over dry so to dry in the air <music> that our slide is dry we will uh, do the heat fixation method for the heat fixation, we need a source of flame. Why do we do it? To allow firm adherence of the smear to the slide para nakakapit ng mabuti yung sample natin sa slide. And pag nagstain tayo, hindi siya bibitaw. And second is to allow sample to more readily take up the stain para mas mas stain natin siya ng mabuti. In case that heat fixation is not available, you can uh, use methanol as a substitute for heat fixation so paano siya gawin what, how to do the methanol so before we have our gram stain we will uh, submerge the sample to a methanol solution pass the slide to the flame 2 to 3 times and place this slide on a rack then we will do the gram stain procedure now so i didn't put label because this is just an example and it's not a real patient and i know who is this one from so if you will do it on an actual basis you should always put label on the slide so i do three but i will all only stain two slides the other one on the right side is the slide that I hit fix and the other one on the left side is I didn't do hit fixation so I skipped this method. So let's see if what is the difference between the two. Now let's uh, flood the slide with our crystal violet stain. So this will take about one minute. So how? this this crystal violet stain the gram positive bacteria because the gram positive bacteria have thick layer of peptidoglycan and this thick layer of peptidoglycan is the reason why gram positive bacteria uh, retains the violet stain after all of the stain is done
our side with the ground sizing thing. So this will take for about 2 minutes. So what is the purpose? What is the purpose of our ground sizing? Our ground sizing acts as a mordant. What is the role of a mordant? So our ground iodine functions to intensify our primary pain. How? By uh, forming a complex with our primary stain. For me, uh, what I do is I just run it to the slide. I did I do not flood it. But if you will flood it, make sure that uh, it will not exceed the 15 seconds time. The colorizing is the most important part of gram stain. Why? Because this one will differentiate the gram positive and the gram negative bacteria. How? Uh, the gram positive cells or bacteria forms crystal violet iodine complex. When we put the decolorizer, these cells will dehydrate and shrink because their cell wall has a layer that is made up of 60 to 90 percent. Or their cell wall is made up of 60 to 90 percent thick peptidoglycan. So when we put the decolorizer, this will cause the cells to dehydrate and shrink which now then closes the pores in the cell wall and prevent the stain from exiting the cell so they will the stain or the violet stain will retain because of their thick peptidoglycan on the other hand when we put the colorizer in a gram negative bacteria this will cause the stain to leach out how because gram negative bacteria is a uh, cell wall consists of like 10 to 20 percent of peptidoglycan and the rest is lipopolysaccharides and protein when we put the decolorizer which is example an alcohol or an acetone uh, the lipopolysaccharide will be dissolved which will cause the stain to leach out of the cell because uh, there is a part of their cell wall which is the lipopolysaccharide that will be the salt. And now we will flood the slide with our saffronin stain for 2 minutes. This saffronin stain will stain our gram negative bacteria uh, because of the crystal violet iodine complex leach out of the cell when we put the decolorizer. This allows now the cells to subsequently be stained with. Our suffering. where we do heat fixation you will see the stain is so good and also the bacteria really adhere firmly on the slide 
And this is the slide that we do not do heat fixation. So look at the bacteria. It's not well stained. And we cannot see a lot of bacteria because the bacteria is rinsed off when we do the staining. The gram-positive bacteria will stain violet and the gram-negative bacteria will stain pink. And then to sum it all up, we have a gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria on a slide. Then we will flood it with the primary stain or the crystal violet. Both will stain purple. When we add the grams iodine, which is the mordant, they will still remain purple. Uh, when we add the decolorizer, which is an alcohol or an acetone, gram positive will remain purple because of its thick peptidoglycan and gram negative will become colorless because the stain will leak out of their cell wall. Then, when we add the counter stain, which is the safranin, gram positive still remain purple and gram negative will stain as pink. And when we uh, do the decolorizing, or when decolorizing takes too much time, more than 15 seconds, uh, take note that both gram positive and gram negative will be colorless if we do not do the decolorizing method correctly.